Hello and welcome to Dubai Life. My name is Shaban and in this video I'm going to share with you eight ways you can save money on transport if you live in Dubai or if you live and work in the United Arab Emirates. So without wasting any time let's go straight into it. Tip number one, live near your workplace. If you can, if it's possible, try to live very close to your workplace. That means you just have to walk to work. You don't have to spend any money on transport, on taxis, on buses, on metro, on anything. You just walk to work. So that's number one tip. Tip number two, uh, stay in a community where most of your co-workers stay. That means maybe you can decide to use one car and move together two or three people. That way you save on fuel. Or you can decide to drive in shifts. Monday someone else, Tuesday someone else, Thursday someone else, and Friday another person. Instead of spending fuel on five cars every day, you spend on one car per day, and that way you're saving as a group. Tip number three, live close to a public transport network. If you stay near a metro station, that means you are saving by using a metro instead of using a taxi. If you stay nearby a bus stop, that means still you are saving by using bus and metro. Public means are cheaper than using a taxi or private means if you're driving. So the tip is stay near a public transport network. Another option is to pay subscription, monthly subscription on the null card. If you want all areas or all zones covered, that means you pay only 350 dirhams and that card will take you everywhere you go, however many times you want to travel at no extra cost. Only 350, on average, you're spending only 11 dirhams per month, per day, but you can travel anywhere. All zones are not restricted. Another tip that can help you or can help you save some money on transport in Dubai is buying an e-scooter. E-scooters range in price depending on the size, depending on the battery power and the makes and the designs and brands. There are so many brands and different pricing. However, if you buy it, the initial cost may be high, but you won't pay again. You just have to charge it maybe at workplace or at home and use it. Especially if you don't stay very far from where you work. However, if you stay very far still, you may need it to go to the network, maybe to the metro or bus station, park it there or go with it and then move along with it. Another tip that can help you save some money on transport in Dubai is ride sharing. Now, if you work in the same place, you stay nearby, you can decide maybe instead of uh, driving every day, you share days and say, I'll drive Monday to Tuesday, another friend will drive us Tuesday to Wednesday, another one Friday to Saturday. That way, you do not have to spend a lot of money. So everyone is spending a third of what they would have spent if you use individual vehicles. So ride sharing is one way of saving on transport costs in the United Arab Emirates or in Dubai. If you have to buy a car and you feel you need it, then buy economic cars. Cars that have small engines do not spend a lot of money on fuel. Cars that have engines that range from 1.3 liters to about 2.5 are a bit economical. But if you go for cars that have 2.5 and above liters engines, then they're a bit costly in terms of fuel expenses and also the servicing because of bigger engines. So the tip is buy smaller cars. Smaller cars, less on, uh, on servicing fees, less on fuel. They're easier to manage and to maintain. So those will help you to save on transport. Another way you can save on transport costs in Dubai is by paying a monthly car lift. So someone who picks you from one location, maybe can be a stage or from your home to work and from work back to home. This is very common in Dubai. People who work in malls know that they have several services that can do car lifts to malls and back to accommodation, to mall and back to where you stay. So that can be one way of saving. It will range from between 300 to 500, but it's much cheaper than if you have to manage the transport on your own. Thank you so much for getting this far. If you're watching this channel for the first time, I suggest you subscribe and click the notification bell so that every time you have a new video, you'll be notified. So those were my eight tips on how you can save on transport if you live in the United Arab Emirates or in Dubai. I will summarize the eight tips for you. Number one tip was living near your workplace so that you can walk to work. Two, stay in a community that is having most of your workmates. Number three, 
live near the public transport network. Number four, uh, buy a monthly null card. Number five, you could also buy an e-scooter, which will save you. And number six, uh, car ride car ride sharing. Number seven is uh, using a car lift. And number eight is uh, buying economic cars, second-hand economic cars. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.